Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report, where we have news that Focus Vision has been acquired. Also, that Microsoft has debuted the industry's newest research toolbox equipment, and it's pretty impressive. And then, RFL Clients of the Year Award winners for research innovation, online panels, and online communities. RBDR is sponsored today and all this week by 2020 Research, helping you do better research. Fully six months ago, RBDR learned that Focus Vision, a few years into an acquisition spree that has netted it re Revelation Research, Decipher, Research Reporter, QualView and 24 True, and Active Group, has been looking for a buyer. Well, it found one this week. It is the Swedish private equity firm EQT, which is purchasing Focus Vision from St. Louis-based Thompson Street Capital Partners, the owner since 2013. Terms were not disclosed, and EQD self describes itself as investing in good companies across the world with a mission to help them develop into great and sustainable companies. That's kind of a signal, if you take it at face value, that there's going to be some heavy-duty investment in Focus Vision and in its new operations. Next, Microsoft Pulse launched officially on Tuesday, and I think it's newsworthy because it is the newest and very intriguing addition to what we call the Market Research Toolbox. Microsoft Pulse evolved from Bing Pulse, which was rolled out a short while ago, and it empowers researchers across diverse industries to engage with their customers, to conduct research and analysis, and to collect deeper insights and in real time. And it uses an array of research tools to achieve that. On top of that, how many other tools in the market research toolbox are free? Yes, Microsoft Pulse is free. It integrates its research prowess into existing Microsoft video, meetings, sharing, communications, and analytics services. And its head, Dritan Nesho, shared some other thoughts with us. Well, we've really put a powerful new tool uh, in the toolbox of market researchers, and we think that this will be a boon for any market research company out there. What Pulse allows you to do is to collect unlimited quantitative feedback around qualitative type situations, um, either a video or a video stream, a live event, or even a TV broadcast. And you can really run the technology for ad tests, to do message testing, product tests, uh, remote focus groups, and even uh, audience response uh, studies in person or uh, through, through the web. It removes conventional capital requirements, getting uh, the need to rent clickers and other types of hardware, the need to collect a group of people in a room to get their feedback. Now, in a matter of minutes, through our video capability and our robust research tool, uh, you're able to start collecting vast amounts of feedback, uh, both uh, through Pulse, uh, our sentiment tracking tool, and uh, through our surveys and uh, online polls. Next, RFL's Client of the Year Award announces three category winners today. As you most likely know at this point, the Client of the Year Award from RFL spotlights client-side researchers with major accomplishments and relying on the use of novel research technologies and methodologies. Let's start with the first from Context by TFQ, which salutes two winners in the research innovation area. They both are at GE. General Manager of Performance Marketing Labs Andrew Markowitz and Global Leader of Commercial Marketing Innovation Steve Pepe. Both have been in the middle of development and implementation of a unified system for decoding and simplifying data. And that has helped GE business teams to boost their understanding not only of their business but more importantly of their customers. In the online community category, Toluna names Acosta Sales and Marketing Manager of Research Josh Pelham 
for his addition of qualitative features to its traditional quantitative community focus. Discussion boards, blogs, journaling, and live chat have produced deeper insights for Acosta. And then there's Confirm It, which congratulates Delvinia CEO Adam Froman for the Canadian firm's online panels that have provided access to incredibly engaged, opted-in panelists who say they love to participate in surveys because they feel they are significantly influencing leading brands. You can learn more details about these standout research users, along with the accomplishments of many other clients of the year from RFL in the January 2016 Research Business Report. For researchers who want to be in the know about successful implementation of some of the most talked about new technologies and methodologies, RBR in January will be a fascinating read. That's your Research Business Daily Report. We've been sponsored by 2020 Research, helping you do better research. And in fact, how do they do so? Well, it's been startling to see in recent years the innovations throughout the research industry. But quite frankly, not all of them work all that well in all situations. And that's where 2020 Research steps in. It has been helping to bring focus, attention, and proper utilization of a lot of these research innovations, like the use of Qualquant, the globally usable research technologies that truly work and facial coding. How does it actually accomplish the purpose that you need? So, if you'd like to be updated and stay updated about research innovations that work, we invite you to check out the 2020research.com link that we have attached to today's RBDR report. We hope you have a great research day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.